ओके इन द लास्ट क्लास व्हाट इज दैट वी हैव डन इज लेट मी क्विकली समराइज द बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट सो इन फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट व्हाट विल हैपन इज इफ यू हैव ए मेटल सरफेस लाइक दिस एंड इन दिस ऑन दिस मेटल सरफेस इफ light rays fall okay if light starts falling in then what will happen is electrons will be ejected out of this from i mean out of the metal surface this is what i have called as photoelectric effect so in photoelectric effect this incident energy is h e by lambda and this so <coughs> your incident energy is represented as h e by lambda your work function is it is h times threshold frequency your incident energy is h e by lambda or h times incident frequency your work function is h times threshold frequency or h c by lambda not which is threshold wavelength and your ejected electrons will have kinetic energy which is called as ke max kinetic energy which is also equal to e times stopping potential this is what i have explained previously and i have written the equation as basically what is that i am doing indirectly energy conservation equation your e incident is equal to work function plus ke max okay so this we will arrange or we will write it in different forms that is your h c by lambda is equal to i mean first form in terms of frequency so h times f is equal to work function is h times f not plus ke max is e times this stopping potential what is this stopping potential i will explain now don't worry this can also be written as h c by lambda that is equal to h c by lambda not plus e times stopping potential okay so this is what i have explained in the previous lecture okay now with this you must have basically understood the basic logic of photoelectric effect now in this basic logic of photoelectric effect what will happen is okay these questions will be related to other terms as well okay so they will be related to magnetic field they will be related to uh, i mean electrostatics how they will be related we will discuss in problems but this is your basic photoelectric effect and this is only what is going to be used in problems but in your exam okay you will have questions related to some theoretical information as well so to explain that theoretical information i'll add many extra points here and we'll start doing that we'll discuss the theory part and then i'll enter into the problems okay now to discuss the theory part first of all i want to explain certain basic things related to this photoelectric effect experiment so let me do that first then i will start the problems so now <clears throat> first your photoelectric effect experiment how it is i will tell you okay so you will have a cathode here okay so you will have cathode here and then you will have anode here separately connected in a tube like this now this is your photoelectric effect tube setup and inside this okay this will be connected to some battery why we are connecting this to battery i will tell you this is your ammeter and this is your collector okay so your experimental arrangement of photoelectric effect is your heading so let me write that this is your experimental arrangement of photoelectric effect experimental 
arrangement of experimental arrangement of photoelectric effect so now what is this i'll tell you okay so first i want you to understand certain basic things so now first what we'll do is we'll emit light onto cathode okay right so it is a highly evacuated tube okay evacuated tube in the sense there could be no ionization at all okay so when evacuated tube in the sense it is nothing but vacuum okay why vacuum means the medium present in between the plates should not ionize and it should not any contribute to any current okay so we'll have an experimental setup like this okay in this your cathode is your emitter cathode is emitter anode is collector okay why it is emitting why it is collecting i'll tell you don't worry but so this is your required metal you are subjecting light now because of photoelectric effect what will happen is electrons will start emitting okay so this is your uh, cathode ray tube okay and you will be sending out monochromatic light okay monochromatic in the sense light of single wavelength okay single wavelength light of single wavelength is called uh monochromatic light so when monochromatic light is being sent like this into this cathode ray tube what will happen is okay because of photoelectric effect electrons are going to be emitted like this so these electrons because of the potential difference okay between this cathode and uh, this thing uh, i mean anode they'll travel between this uh, and okay they will travel like this now when they are traveling like this why are we using actually this uh, uh, i mean stopping potential means okay here what is happening is the ammeter should show less value of current okay because when this electrons are flowing like this okay this electrons will have high amount of kinetic energy okay we cannot okay when they are sending being sent out like this what will happen is these electrons will have some kinetic energy now for charged particles we cannot directly measure the kinetic energy okay right so all right now let's continue so when light is falling okay your electrons are actually being emitted now what is the logic why is this arrangement i will tell you now in electrostatics you must have studied that okay in electrostatics you must have studied that okay charge times potential difference is your change in kinetic energy now your charge is here it is electron your potential difference is if you call it as stopping potential okay it should not show less value of i why did i say means when it is not showing any current okay then it is actually how much means your negative charge will be minus e minus e times vs is equal to ke final minus ke initial now you want initial kinetic energy ke final is any how zero when it is stopping so when less value of current is actually being shown indirectly you are measuring your kinetic energy as ke initial is equal to e times stopping potential this is only your maximum kinetic energy okay so we are considering kinetic energy of electrons which are actually reaching this plate some of these electrons could not even reach this that is a different scenario but here this is how you are going to get your stopping potential okay right so don't think too much about it and start scratching your head okay this is how you are going to get it okay if you think start thinking too much then you will start getting headache not required how much is required i have just put it in a simple manner okay you have light falling on the metal electrons are being ejected now you want the measure you want to measure the kinetic energy you cannot measure it directly instead you will use 
idea of electrostatics from that you are going to get this stopping potential okay that much is enough don't think too much okay right so let's continue further now what is that we are going to see is okay your next part is okay with this the conceptual part of photoelectric effect is done now the logical part okay you will be asked simple simple questions and you need to give answers okay first property one okay now your first property is okay if i mean always remember any property that i give that is dependent on this h c by lambda or you can write your equation is like this h times f incident is equal to work function plus uh, it is ke max or e times stopping potential i will give anything based on this explanation only so now okay your first property is okay your current versus intensity graph if you take okay when okay you are keeping frequency comma acc i mean accelerating potential or stopping potential your vs is kept constant okay when frequency comma stopping potential is constant your current versus intensity graph is like this okay now how did you actually get this i'll explain in detail observe carefully now let us say for example okay right let us say for example you have light green a light yellow and okay dark yellow okay i mean i cannot choose too much colors here okay this is your dark yellow color okay now what is the difference between these two means for these two what is constant is wavelength is constant frequency is constant but what is different is intensity is different if you take yellow color okay for yellow color frequency and wavelength is constant but intensity is different now because of this what happens is okay more intensity is there in dark yellow okay here it is more intensity okay so more intensity indicates that okay more intensity implies more number of photons more number of photons are striking the surface more number of photons are striking the surface here okay less number of photons are striking okay less number of photons are striking but in both okay you are ke ke ejected this ke max and ke max both will be equal but in case where more intensity t is there more number of electrons are striking the uh, surface okay getting my point if you take same color okay one is light and other is dark okay in the first property that i want you to know is okay your intensities are different intensities are different means ejected kinetic energies it is same okay ejected kinetic energies are same okay this ejected kinetic energy is same but what is the difference is more intensity will indicate more number of electrons are striking the surface and coming out okay and less intensity will indicate less number of photons are striking but that ejected ones energies are same so here your current versus intensity graph if you take photo current okay this is called as photo current photo current in the sense current which is coming because of light so your photo current is more 
okay your photo current is more when intensity is more okay but ejected values kinetic energies will be same okay so from your current versus intensity graph is like this under which condition means under this condition okay if this condition is satisfied then that graph will come okay right so indirectly it is your current is nothing but your current is also related to number of photoelectrons okay number of photoelectrons more electrons will be photoelectrons will be coming out if you are projecting more intensity light okay right hope there are no doubts okay and you have understood what i am trying to explain okay right okay abdullah continues right let us say you have uv light of wavelength 280 nanometers is used in experiment with work function of phi is equal to 2.5 electron volt cathode question is find max kinetic energy second stopping potential okay come on try this we will directly start doing questions try this i will give you the answers don't worry it will hardly take you a minute please do solve it those who are watching this video also should si simultaneously try answer to this question photoelectric effect equation you stick to that okay we'll directly start doing the problems basic questions anyhow you will be able to do it i will not waste my time this chapter is easy only it's not tough at all so your answer is your hc by lambda is equal to work function plus k max so e times vs plus your work function is 2.5 electron volt that is equal to hc by lambda is 1240 electron volt nanometer by okay lambda is 280 nanometer 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 will cancel off so you check how much you are getting your 1240 by 280 if you take it your answer should be okay it is around 4.48 electron volt 4. 48 electron volt that is equal to 2.5 electron volt plus e times stopping potential okay now if you want energy maximum kinetic energy this term is your k max right so your k max is 4.48 minus 2.5 so 4.4 minus 2.5 times electron volt is k max which is e times vs is equal to 4.4 this is your first bit answer that much electron volt to convert it into joules if answer is given in terms of joules multiply with 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 okay so 4.4 minus 2.5 is how much okay how much it is so 15 plus 4 19 around 1.9 electron volt electron electron will cancel off your stopping potential is 1.9 volt okay so i have neglected this extra term okay so that you will you can do it anyhow from significant figures uh, you can express the answer in terms of lowest number of significant digits okay right next your second question is monochromatic light of intensity 5 milliwatt emits okay 8 into 10 power 15 photons per second okay 
what is your question is this light ejects photoelectrons from metal surface this light undergoes photoelectric effect okay stopping potential is equal to 2 volt calculate work function of metal that is your next question okay try it for a minute i'll explain the answer those who are watching this video please do pause the video clip try the answer it is easy only it's not tough at all whenever i give you a question first of all please stick to the basics your intensity formula is number of photons emitted per unit area per unit time times okay hc by lambda okay right so your intensity value is given as okay phi milli watts okay the language of the equation went wrong okay so intensity is given but watt is given watt is unit of power so i cannot take area it is indirectly power only okay i think this question is there in hc or mol so but i do not know i don't have the book with me now to immediately check it so it is not intensity it is actually power you have to correct the question right so your power is n by t 5 milli watt means 5 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to n by t is what n dash okay n dash is okay n dash is 8 into 10 power 15 times hc by lambda okay from here get the value of hc by lambda now once you get the value of hc by lambda okay so it is approximately 0.625 into 10 power minus 18 joules you will get it okay in this chapter i don't have a choice of taking perfect numbers okay so please do uh, cooperate i don't have a choice whatever questions are there in the book i am just directly taking them now what is that you are supposed to do apply this equation in terms of photoelectric effect equation so what is your photoelectric effect equation h c by lambda is equal to work function plus kinetic energy okay or stopping potential e times vs now first we need to express this h c by lambda in terms of electron volt okay because your stopping potential is given as 2 volt so it is 2 times e volt means 2 electron volt plus work function your h c by lambda is in joules now to convert this into electron volt okay in electron volt your h c by lambda is you have to divide with 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules so that will give you 0.625 into 10 power a minus 18 by okay one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules so this much electron volt is this you are value of this which is approximately equal to 3.9 electron volt so your 3.9 electron volt is equal to work function plus 2 electron volt your work function is 3.9 electron volt minus 2 electron volt that is equal to 1.9 electron volt okay now by pc people please do not get terrified with the maths okay just simply you use the calculator okay right simplification you can do it approximately try to use the calculator because i am picking the questions from the book i am not i did not do these questions previously i just randomly started taking it i am doing it in my mobile and typing the i mean substituting the values so please do use calculator in the exam don't worry you are going to get perfect numbers okay logic is important focus on the logic okay all right now next let's move ahead your next question is third one your next question is okay max k from 
मैक्स के ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एमिटेड इज एमिटेड फ्रॉम सरफेस इज यू विल हैव इजी इक्वेशंस लाइक दिस ओनली आई टोल्ड यू स्टिक टू ओनली फोटो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट इक्वेशन योर जॉब इज डन थर्टी इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट when lambda wavelength falls on it okay when light of wavelength 2 lambda falls your maximum kinetic energy k max is 10 electron volt okay calculate okay calculate wavelength lambda and determine max wavelength for which electrons are emitted from surface okay so pause the video clip try it for a minute then you continue the solution come on do it hope you are trying the question those who are watching this please do try it don't waste your time try it sincerely you are, you do know everything okay so it's not tough at all so for wavelength lambda write the equation once for 2 lambda write the equation once and then try to solve it i lenny have explained the solution but first do give a try so h c by lambda is equal to work function plus 30 electron volt h c by 2 lambda is equal to work function plus k max is 10 electron volt now if you look at these two equations okay from here you can get two equations two unknowns equation 1 is h c by la- one unknown is h c by lambda and other is work function okay what is that i am doing i am applying photoelectric effect equation twice now you have two equations and two unknowns to solve two unknowns we need two equations and we have those two equations so you can simplify it and get the value of w you can get the value of h c by lambda okay do that get the value of w get the value of h c by lambda now how will you get it subtract w cos of directly you will get h c by lambda value okay so if you subtract h c by 2 lambda minus h c by i mean h c by lambda minus h c by 2 lambda is h c by 2 lambda that is equal to 30 minus 10 is 20 electron volt so now here your h c by lambda value is equal to 40 electron volt substitute that back so if you substitute that 40 means your work function is going to give you 10 electron volt substitute into any one of the equations either on the top or bottom so you are going to get 10 electron volt okay now once you get this what is asked determine maximum wavelength for which electrons are emitted from surface means i told you very clearly okay so in photoelectric effect equation before if you supply any energy which is less than your threshold frequency okay what happens okay electrons will not be ejected you need sufficient energy to eject electron out of it so your threshold value from your work function you have to relate that okay so your work function is equal to hc by lambda not is equal to 10 electron volt hc is 1240 electron volt nanometer by threshold wavelength lambda not is equal to 10 electron volt electron volt electron volt will cancel off 00 will cancel off your threshold wavelength is 
124 nanometers that means you need to supply maximum energy of around 124 nanometers to get the electrons out of the surface okay minimum frequency or maximum wavelength okay here minimum frequency could even be asked so equate that to hf okay if minimum frequency is asked okay velocity is equal to frequency into lambda in place of we substitute c okay your frequency minimum is c by lambda okay right so that is how you are supposed to do it okay come on right next <clears throat> your next one is your next question i think it is number 4 okay your fourth question is 2000 armstrongs light falls on aluminum surface in aluminum 4.2 electron volt are required to remove electron from surface okay what is your question is okay what is the kinetic energy of uh, what is the kinetic energy what is the kinetic energy in bracket i'll write in electron volt of first question fastest photo electron second slowest photo electron okay fastest and slowest photo electrons stopping potential okay third question is stopping potential fourth one cut off wavelength of aluminum okay in the bracket he gave planck's constant h value is 6.6 into 10 power minus 34 and speed of light c is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second okay those who are watching this video please pause the video clip write down the question and try it or directly try it and later you write down the question that is your choice okay so please do give it a try we'll continue don't worry stick to basics everything is known to you anything that i explain is related to hc by lambda is equal to work function plus ke max this ke max is e times stopping potential your work function is hc by lambda not threshold wavelength this is equal to hc by lambda sticking to basics your job is done you will get the answers okay come on no question will come with any anything extra mostly they link these ideas to other topics it will not be tough at all please do give it a try hope everybody is trying it okay right hope you have paused the video and you have tried okay now first statement in aluminum 4.2 electron volts are required to remove electron from surface now indirectly that means your work function is given as 4.2 electron volt done all right next 2000 armstrong light falls on it so your hc is 1240 electron volt nanometer by lambda value 2000 armstrong means 2000 armstrong is equal to 200 nanometer plus you will have your maximum kinetic energy ke max of ejected electron nanometer nanometer will cancel off okay zero zero will cancel off two tens to 62 6.2 electron volt is equal to 
फोर पॉइंट टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट प्लस के ई मैक्स सो युअर फास्टेस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन विल हैव कैनेटिक एनर्जी ओके राइट सो ई मीन युअर के ई मैक्स मीन मैक्सीम कैनेटिक एनर्जी बॉडी विल हैव फास्ट फास्टेस्ट वेलासिटी सो सिक्स पॉइंट टू फोर पॉइंट टू मीन युअर टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट ईज युअर मैक्सीम कैनेटिक एनर्जी के ई मैक्स ईज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट सो फास्टेस्ट कैनेटिक एनर्जी टू इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट स्लोएस्ट ओके जीरो ओके If electron is just knocked out, you supply energy equal to work function. Okay, then it will zero zero will be the value. Okay, because it just comes out. That's all. You are stopping potential. K E max is equal to E times V S. No, so E times V S is equal to two electron volt. Electron electron. Your stopping potential is two volt. Cut off wavelength is asked. So cut off wavelength means your work function is equal to H C by lambda naught, which is your cut off wavelength. Your threshold value is 4.2 electron volt. So 1240 electron volt nanometers by lambda naught is equal to 4.2 electron volt. Electron volt electron volt will cancel off. Your lambda naught is 1240 by 4.2 nanometers you simplify this how much you are getting that is going to be your threshold wavelength it is approximately close to 300 nanometers okay it is 1242 so close to 300 okay so in some books it will be taken as 1242 instead of 1240 1242 also will be taken so you do the approximation accordingly okay right All right. Now let's continue. Next, your next question is fifth question. Stopping potential is point eight two volt for wavelength lambda is equal to four thousand Armstrongs for. Light of wavelength three thousand Armstrongs. Stopping potential is one point eight five volt. Find value of Planck's constant. Try it for a minute. I'll explain the solution. Okay. Stick to the basics. Okay, Planck's constant. You are remembering it, but how did he calculate that? You can give it from this experiment as well. But give it a try first, then I'll explain the solution. Try it. It's easy. Just simply apply. Photoelectric effect equation twice. That's all. Your job is done. All right. So what is that you are supposed to do is your H C by lambda is equal to your work function plus E times stopping potential. Okay. Now H times For first equation, three into ten power eight by R. Uh, yes, you don't have a choice. Four thousand into ten power minus ten. One Armstrong is ten power minus ten. Your stopping potential, work function is going to be same. Plus E times stopping potential is point eight two. For second equation, h times three into ten power eight by three thousand into ten power minus ten. That is equal to work function plus e times for next one stopping potential is one point eight five. Subtract work function. Work function will cancel off. H into three into ten power eight. This thing you simplify and give the value of h. You will get it six point six into ten power minus thirty four. Okay. In place of e substitute. 
वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन पवर मैनस नयटी ई वाल्यू इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन पवर मैनस नयटी ओके रईट ऐम सिंप्ली ई हॉप यू आर् गोइंग टू सिंप्लीफ एंड डू दिश लुक एट दि लाजिक आफ् दि क्वेश्चन ओके दिसक्वेशन अंड से आफ् दिसक्वेशन इज दि फिजिस् पार्ट आफ इट ओके रईट नैक्स्ट Your next part is okay. A forty watt UV light source of wavelength lambda is equal to two four eight zero Armstrong. illuminates a magnesium surface placed 2 meters away determine first question number of photons emitted per second second number of photons emitted per second per unit area that is your second question take work function as 3.68 electron volts third question calculate ke max fourth max lambda for which photoelectric effect is observed try this then i'll explain the solution stick to the basics your first question is number of photons emitted per second i told you okay if you remember the story output power will be there at some distance d if you have something okay your output power is actually number of photons emitted per second into h by lambda this is given as 40 that is equal to number of photons emitted per second into this is 1240 electron volt nanometer by lambda for first bit i am explaining okay by lambda means it is 2480 armstrong means it is 248 nanometers okay look if you take it as 1242 check what is the multiple of this you will get n by t n by t is nothing but what your 40 into 248 by 1242 is your n by t this is your first bit answer number of photons emitted per second per unit area if it is asked your intensity is power output by 4 pi d square right your output power by 4 pi d square okay is your intensity which is n by a into t into h by lambda okay so that will give you answer to the second bit this is the required value in second bit okay so output power is known to us how much it is 40 okay distance d is 2 meters h by lambda you substitute it okay right so you will get it now for kinetic energy ke max okay it is pretty simple okay so the light that is coming you have the object here here photoelectric effect is happening so for third bit okay ke max is h by lambda is equal to work function plus ke max do this then once you get work function for fourth bit answer is 
h c by lambda naught is equal to work function okay so if you are simplifying everything correctly the answers that you are going to get is for first question it is 5 into 10 power 19 for second it is 9.9 .9 into 10 power 17 if you are simplifying everything correctly and for k max it is 1.32 electron volt for this it is 337.5 nanometers like this okay right so all these are just basic problems you can do it don't worry okay all right so with this we will stop today's class that's all for today thank you